I am joined by my good friend, Jessica Alexander. Jessica, tell me about what we saw in the Vuelta Burgos Feminas. Vuelta was great, actually. So that was uh, May 21st to 23rd in the north central region of Spain. Uh, pretty great racing out there. Um, first multi-day women's event of the UCI calendar this year. Yeah, that is something that you brought up. I cannot actually believe that this is the first stage race that the women have had at the world tour level in 2021. It's pretty pretty incredible. There are a couple more that are coming up later in the season, but you know that's that's a point that we should um, you know at least mention that the women have been you know, I think disproportionately harmed by the coronavirus pandemic, having some of their standalone events canceled, essentially canceled or postponed while uh, women's world tour events that are tied to men's world tour races have had a better chance of survival. There is a men's Vuelta Burgos that is coming up later in the season, which we have on flow bikes, but it was really, uh, you know, silver lining to see them introduce this world tour women's race this year. and. Uh, yeah, give the women a chance to race multiple days in a row at the highest level. Stage one, what do we see? Stage one was a 100 kilometer race from Via Diego to Sarenta de la Lora. Um, there is a 10K category three climb at the end of the race. Bicycle exchange racer and upcoming Olympian actually, um, Australian Grace Brown ended up winning the stage after a three person breakaway with Heidi Franz. Uh, up and coming New Zealand racer Neve Fisher Black, as well as Swiss national champ Elsie uh, Shabby. We did have friends take the KOM points. Yeah, and this is uh, kind of a theme that we saw throughout the entire week. North American women were represented very well. They put on a show for us, but there was a lot of heartbreak in the finish of the stages. They just could not manage to pull off a stage win, try as they might. But it was exciting racing for North American fans, kicking it off with Heidi Franz. Uh, the American race, Racing for Rally Cycling. It was heartbreak for her in the finish. She got swept up just in the final kilometer. Grace Brown, however, was... Just, she was the strongest. She, she, she was just the strongest person on the road. She managed to take the first win at the Vuelta Burgos Feminist. Stage two, it was a little bit of a rainy, messy day. We saw some uh, crashes happen in the field and Again, we had one sole escapee manage to hold off the field on stage two, the Russian rider, Annalisa Tresina. What we saw developing behind though was actually really interesting because it wasn't just the SD Works team, it was their team leader, Anna von der Bregen herself, just really owned the chase behind. We saw Anna von der Bregen Charging, yeah, charging, leading about the field. 15 minutes in, she took charge. Um, there had just been a crash, I believe, with one of her teammates. Yeah. And so it was really unfortunate. <laughs> because she took the corner so because fast. Because it was a fast corner, slide right out. Um, so, yeah, in the end, it was very heartbreaking to not see her come into play. But the action that she made towards the last 15 minutes of the race is absolutely the best part to watch and catch up on. Yeah, and that really kind of is foreshadowing for what we're going to see at the finish of this race. Before we get there, uh, stage three was, it, it was a really cool dynamic course. We had, uh, the, the finish was really just highlighted by Kasia Nuiadoma and Cicely Utrecht-Bludvig, two of the most exciting racers to watch when the road turns to uphill. They just started sprinting with 500 meters to go on this finishing climb, and Cicely Utrecht-Bludvig took a, took a very, very big win. She's kind of been, you know, there or thereabouts this entire season, but you you know, obviously a rider who wears her emotions on her sleeve. You could see how excited she was at the finish. Absolutely. Uh, a very exciting finish to this race. A 1K switchback climb to the finish. Uh, ben Bragan was riding very comfortably throughout the race and finished just behind this group of riders. Um, but yeah, absolutely. Very strong race finish. Um, very exciting to see that great strong climb to the finish. Yeah, and again, heartbreak for the North Americans, Canadian champion, Carol Ann Kenwell was leading the charge, trying to hold off the field in the final kilometers, but it came back together at the base of the climb, and it was a day for Cicely Utrecht Blue Big. Worth noting that Anna von der Bregen, while she did not necessarily throw herself into this uh, just insane sprint that we saw between Blue Big and New Doma, Anna von der Bregen was pretty, pretty easily just following wheels and managed to finish right behind those two with no time gap. That brings us to stage four, the queen stage. Stage four, queen stage, finished uh, featuring a final 11% climb um, 
to basically the finish of the race. So you were seeing a lot of really good tactics leading up into this final climb as we knew this was going to be our deciding and decisive moment for timing and uh, final GC classifications. Um, so Clara Kulpenberg, the German rider, had a really great show for rally um, going up front in the actual final climb. Um, but yeah, it looked like SD Works had some really good tactics that they used to kind of shred the peloton, close that gap, and then change the dynamics of the race in the final two kilometers. Yeah, and yet again, Claire Kopenberg, German, not North American, but we're going to slide her in there because she is racing for the rally uh, cycling team. And uh, her climb was phenomenal. She's coming back from injury, seeing her, you know, try to hold off the peloton on this, you know, 12 kilometer finishing climb. She put up a hell of a fight, but SD works behind. They basically took a leaf out of Ineos' books. Absolutely. They, they, they lined it up on the field, and the damage that they did in the final three kilometers, was, they, they, they shredded the field, and it really came down to Demi Vollering, Anna von der Bregen's teammate, alongside Anna von der Bregen and Annemiek van Vluten. Those three duked it out in the final kilometer, and the pain face that we saw on oh. Annemiek van Vluten when Anna von der Bregen, the world champion, hits the front of this field. Von der Bregen, she, she just looked like a machine. She, there, no, very no stoic, no yeah. emotion, very much like just steadfast and to the course and let's go ahead and win this race. And I, the effort that it must take to pull that pain face out of Annemiek van Vluten is, is incomprehensible. Van Vluten, she was all over her bike. Um, and Von der Bregen just smashed it at the end of stage four. She won the stage, points jersey. Stage, points, this, mountain, and the overall. I mean. Everything. She won everything. So. Yeah, this is her, her ninth or tenth race of the uh, 2021 ninth season. Ninth race. And uh, ninth race total, and I think this is her fifth win. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so has won more than 50% of the races that she has started. It seems like she is honestly just getting stronger. The showing that we saw at the Wealth of Burgos, uh, what she put out on the last day is, it's pretty mind blowing. I've, I've said this, you know, kind of week after week, what we're seeing, this is supposed to be on, a, well, it is on von der Bregen's final season. Final season, correct. Um, but the way that she is going out, I don't think that anybody could be more happy to see it. Uh, you know, what's, what's coming up next is, of course, I don't know who's going to be able to beat Anna von der Bregen on the punchy, classic-style uh, terrain that the women are going to face in Brittany, and then Anna von der Bregen's final race um, pretty soon after the course is, of course, the Tokyo Olympics. Yep. Yeah, so what's going to be interesting about the course is, the, of course, the, the starting line uh, starting setup hasn't been released yet. Um, Shran Van Andrews is listed on the Trek Segafredo team. Uh, Lizzie Dagon, who won last year, uh, unsure if she's going to be racing at this point. So that kind of leaves the, uh, you know, we'll see who wins if, you know, who shows up to race.